Hello, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is my review channel called Real Magic Review. I do hope you like it. Today I'm going to be reviewing Tom Stone and Tommy Wonders Building an Act. Before I do that review, can you like and subscribe? Check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course. It's very good. And if you want a little sample, you can get a free spread cull course at cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. And have a look at the testimonials on cardmagiccourse.com. Don't take my word for it. If you like this channel, you will love that course. Right. Uh, this is lovely. This is, uh, it, it all comes at the right time, doesn't it, sometimes? Uh, I am currently building an act, and uh, I've, I was looking at Tom Stone stuff on his WARG, W-A-R-G, WARG Magic website, and saw the downloads there, and I thought, because I was a, used to buy Tom Stone's downloads, big fan downloads, big fan of him, really enjoyed his PDFs, used a lot of the stuff, There's a, um, he's loved his stuff on multiplying balls, and his card routines, of course, and he's got this lovely um, routine with a Boston box, I think, or coin routine with a ring. He's got all this really kind of stuff based on classics, but sort of brought up to the real world. He, and he, he seemed to be into the same sort of stuff as me. So I really connected with his material years ago. And I saw him at International Magic Lecture and again, loved that. Loved his, his the, the um, Benson Bow routine with sponge balls. I just think his stuff is absolutely brilliant. Great thinker, great performer um, and a big fan. And I thought the stuff on his on the site was just the old PDFs available now, which were um, incidentally published. That's quite handy. They were right there in these lovely books, which are still some of my favourites. I think they're great. Maelstrom and uh, Vortex, a collection of all this stuff. And I really recommend that stuff. And apparently, you, you know, I still haven't watched the, the DVDs and the downloads on those books, which came out a long time afterwards. But but if you haven't checked them out, do check his stuff out. But anyway, so I thought that was all just the PDFs from the books. And then I realised that they weren't. He said, no, this is, there are those available, but there's a lot of new stuff there. And I was going to review all of it. And then I kind of thought, look, this is going to take me ages. So I just dipped in and I thought, well, I'm building an act at the moment. I'll read the building an act thing. And he uh, described this as being a something that he received from Tommy Wonder that he realised that loads of people didn't have. And he said he thinks it was probably a manuscript that was put together for a, a, uh, a lecture tour that never happened because, because Tommy Wonder got, got ill. Uh, so he had this kind of, you know, I mean, we all love Tommy Wonder stuff. And if you don't, sorry, I've got a bit of fluff in my eye. If you um, <laughs> just have me echo. Uh, if you don't, if, again, if you haven't looked at the books of Wonder, Tommy Wonder, have a look at them. And I thought this was maybe from the books, but it's not. It's a totally standalone thing. And he describes it as being Tommy Wonder's manuscript and he's had added a bit of some notes at the end. So I was expecting a few sort of additions at the end from Tom Stone. What we've actually got is quite a short manuscript and a, a decent chunk of stuff from Tom Stone, which is almost a separate manuscript uh, manuscript on its own, which is really got some great stuff in it. I, I really Some of this, when you read stuff on building an act, you sometimes get the impression that the person writing it hasn't really built an act. You don't get that in, in this at all with, but with the stuff from Tommy Wonder and from Tom Stone because they both start by saying things that make you go, yeah, I've, they've been here because I'm here now. So, in the to And I'm not going to give too much away because it's not a massive thing. It's like 40-odd pages. So if I give you too much content, you're not going to want to buy it. And I really think you should. Uh, and again, no, no affiliation. Um, so because they talk about, like Tommy Wonder talks about how so many times you get ideas and they just dwindle away into nothingness. You know, you get then the enthusiasm falters and that's how he starts it. You go, I've been there so many times. You get really excited about an idea. You think it's brilliant. And then uh, the more you start working on it and then you kind of start stouting yourself and all that. So he starts off by saying, you know, get the right mindset. And then he goes into basically a load of hints and tips to stop that that enthusiasm dwindling and I really enjoyed it it was quite radical there was some really good stuff about kind of you know if you, you've got to take it seriously now stop all this thing about like doing a little bit stop learning your tricks every different tricks every week stop watching dvds just work on your act and it really did make me think I've really got to do this because at the moment I'm doing like an hour or two hours a day and I'm going no right it's got very soon I'm gonna to have to go right this is now my thing of course you've got to do some other stuff you've got to stay sane but actually, he, say, he says if you live alone, it's going to be a lot easier because you should put the chairs away, you know, throw it, put the telly away, put everything away. And you're reading this going, really? And you, 
he's kind of got a really good point. But he felt like he was talking to me. He felt like he had been there. And he has worked on, Tommy Wonder, he was saying, he hasn't worked on loads of his own shows, but he's worked on shows with other people. So it was, I really got a lot out of that. And, and it really motivated me, inspired me, but also gave me some really good stuff on not being perfect. You know, don't wait till it's perfect. Just do the thing. Get on with it. You're not going to want to start scripting, but you've got to start. You've got to put something together and find a place to be bad. All that really good stuff. And I'm, I thought, this is great. I'm really glad. Out of all the things I could have started reading, I'm really glad I read this one. And then Tom Stone comes in and you think, oh, he's just going to say a few things, as I said. And it's this whole other thing. And again, he, he starts by saying the thing, like the things that you know as a magician, if you've done this, you've thought it by, you know, he says that if, you, if you're a magician that works on a lot of stuff, you get, you've been doing your routines for a long time, you get stuck, you get caught, you get locked in. And I always remember Steve Evans saying to me about his cups and balls, saying it's locked in. It's like I've got this routine and I sort of can't get out of it, even if I try. And I feel exactly the same way. So for someone to acknowledge that and empathise with that, I felt like, again, this is someone that's been there. And then the rest of the material is just full of absolute gold. You know, he's got this um, quote by Ira Glass at the beginning, who, who I also love to read. And... You know, saying that you've got to accept that, the, you know, when you're creative, you're going to create bad stuff. Not ter necessarily terrible stuff, but it takes, you've got to go through a process to get to where you're going. And the, reading this really helped me with that process. It's got all the practical stuff. It's got the stuff on structure, about how to structure a trick, not just so it works magically, but as it works as a piece of theatre. And he's got some brilliant examples from his own show, some scripting examples, where you look at it and go, I can see how they've got there. He takes Daryl's triumph, you know, and he's talking about trying to see things sideways, seeing from a different angle. And I suppose think outside the box, but not too far. He's not saying, don't try and be radical. You know, you can still keep it fairly obvious. Don't be too clever. And he's just got this lovely presentation, again, a few, but... The one of Daryl's triumph when we win a double act with his double act partner and one of them's blindfolded and try and catch up on it. I just thought it was sort of simple and made complete sense. And one of those things you read as with all of this and go, why haven't I thought of that? That's a really good idea. So it kind of jolts you out of getting, getting stuck. And again, there's stuff about publicity. There's little things you can do to help sell your show when you're leading up to it. And actually timelines. He says, you know, three months before you show all this kind of stuff, which I, again, I thought was brilliant. And I, again, I'm tempted to, to go right through all the content, but it's not a book, this. This is a, a PDF of 40, like I said, 40 something pages. So do find out for yourself, if you're putting together an act or you're thinking about doing so, or even putting together routines, I think this is the inspiration you could do with. And actually, if you haven't thought about it and you read this, it will probably make you go, oh, actually, maybe I can do this. And it's not just empty motivation. This is motivation, but it's also inspiration and it's the, the nuts and bolts of how to put the thing together. And, and both of these actually, have, you know, going back to the Tommy Wonder, he's got this list of kind of going, right, if you do this stuff, you've got more chance of this show working. And it's, again, it's all full of that. So I'm really glad to have found this and I'm really glad to be able to let you know about it because a lot of you won't know about it because, again, it's not everywhere. So do check out the website. Check out Tom, Tom Stone stuff. Check out the WARG website. I'll put the links below. And, um, and I hope you get as much from this as I did. So thank you very much. Um, like and subscribe. Do check out cardmagiccourse.com. Get your free spread cull course, cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. And let me know what you think. It'd be great uh, for you to comment on this. And I'll bring the comments out on a Thursday live show. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.